Right then, it's uh, the first day of spring, the 21st of March 2024. And I've got a nephew who's uh, 62 today, Kevin. I always remember his birthday being on the 21st, first day of spring. He was a spring lamb. Yeah, yeah, can't come up. So yeah, you can still get up here. There's the waterfall. This is just an introductory video, and it's really a continuation of my video that I did um, two days ago, when I didn't quite complete. So what I'm going to do today with this one is not very good for photography. It's grey. It's quite dark. Um, I'm going to add this on to the one I'm doing already at home. I'm starting to do WMV, ready to go on YouTube. So this one will just carry on really from there. Well, where that wall is, that was where the hotel once stood and all my other, many of my other videos have shown that big hotel that used to be there. Um, how it held back the water, I don't know, but uh, it did get flooded a lot. This is all owned by um, Lord Longley, all this land around here, by the way. A lot of it belongs to Longley. I don't know how they happen to get it, but uh, it's quite quiet today. It's uh, Thursday. So. Easter holidays coming up, a lot of people, and it's very, very, very quiet this time of day. You will get walkers about and people going early in the caves. Um, it's quieter than usual, I would say, actually, for some reason, but then they were tidying up the gorge and shut it down for quite a while. Now up there, perched right on the edge of a ledge, there's a goat, look. Look how he's perched. Absolutely. It's a big goat as well. It's amazing, isn't it, how they get about? Right on the right on the ledge. You can hardly see him. He blends in quite well with the um, scenery. It's amazing how they don't fall. They don't lose their balance or anything. Amazing. They tidy up the gorge quite well as well. But of course, this was all raked and scrubbed and strimmed, this uh, gorge, over the winter months. And a lot of these places didn't see any business at all. They more or less shut the gorge down. They have to because it's. It can. You could get a big rock. I don't walk over there, I usually say this side, because you can get rocks. People have been known to be hit by rocks and killed. If uh, they suddenly decide to, to fall, these rocks, there's not a lot you can do about it. When you've got to get a goat, I like that one there, put his foot in the wrong place and loosen a stone. <sighs> yeah, quite a big empty space where that hotel used to be. It's a lot lighter actually now because of it. Anyway, I'm going up, climbing up through the wood now. I'm going to finish the, the walk across Piney Slight's fields while the cows aren't out. Down the old pathway by Longwood. Uh, Longwood's out of bounds still because of the ash dieback. And then I'm going towards Black Rock up the other side of the gorge and seeing what I can do over that side. That's plan. That'll take me a couple hours just doing that. Over and out. Right then, I'm back. It's the first day of spring and I'm back over Cheddar Gorge. Finishing off a walk I didn't complete the other day because I ran out of time. Um, it wasn't because of the last bus, but it's just it was getting late and I was pottering about. So here we are. There's Cheddar Gorge. There's the road down there. 
It's a grey day today, not very good for photos at all. Glastonbury in the distance, Nyland Mound, <coughs> Brent Knoll, Axbridge Reservoir, Crooks Peak and Cheddar Gorge. I'm doing what I did the other day, alternating between the camera, Sony camera and the Kodak for photos. That's a gorgeous, been tidied up a bit. I'll be over the other side of there a bit later. I'm going to need the six hours because I've already done a diversion, which is coming here uh, onto the gorge. So I've already done a diversion. It would take me half an hour at the time. There's somebody ahead, I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right, using small Sony for a video. Here's the gorge. Yeah, I, was over, I was over that way a minute ago. It's been tidied up a lot. It's quiet, quietish today. Yeah, a few people about couples. I'm just taking the odd photo of this side. I didn't really do a lot on this area when I passed the other day, so I thought I'd do it now and I could end up be walking that side later, possible. But I'm heading for Piney Slikes Fields at the moment. while it's cow free. Now it was cow free the other day. More rain is predicted after today. So it's quite likely there will be no cows now. So in theory I should be able to walk across the fields. We've got a little bit of a hill to climb now. Got a little bit of the hill to climb. And then it'll be downhill for a while and then it could get muddy as well. So where's our gorgeous gorge? There's people ahead with two people with a dog. Sorry they're moving again. They're probably just going around the, the usual route. I'm not going down that bit. That will be quite bumpy, muddy. My hip and knees don't like it at my age. I tell you, that was hard today climbing up. Um, I've really got to sort my breathing out. I've just had to have an inhaler now. Um, because, oh god, I don't know if something just hit right. <sighs> something just ain't right. <sighs> right, I'm going to turn off, take some photos. Over and out. <sighs> 